you know, uh, you know, I, I think that you know the first thing I, I saw is the Cubs hitters. They had a great game plan tonight, and you know there was a couple uh, mistake sliders that they took advantage of, but they were running counts. They used the whole field, and uh, you know there was traffic all night for for Clayton, and he gave it everything he had. But you know when they did when he did make a mistake, they uh, you know they made him pay. Uh, we've asked a lot of Clayton, you know, all year long. So. Um, you know, again, it's just more of you got to give those hitters credit. And again in the center. And conversely, what was the plan against uh, Kyle Hendricks? And you know what? Uh, I, I thought we had a plan to, you know, get the ball up. But, uh, you know, this guy was ERA leader. He pitched well all year long. He consistently made pitches, didn't make any mistakes tonight, kept the ball down, uh, kept us off balance. And, um, you know, I think that you can have a plan, but if the uh, opposing pitcher doesn't make mistakes, then it's still tough to execute. So um, I thought, uh, again, Kyle pitched a perfect game. And over here to the left. Uh, Dave, from day one of spring training, you've been an in-the-moment manager, and I know it's very soon to ask this question, but what can you say to reflect on this, on this team this year? I, I just think that there was a lot of growth and um, – you know, I think that how we came together as a team, you know, not only the 25 guys in the clubhouse, but guys that help us get to where we're at tonight. And uh, just the way we played the game every night, you know, you know, with certain adversities that, you know, our guys were accountable, made no excuses all year long. And I think with that, uh, for me, that's something that's a silver lining that really, uh, I think going forward, you know, the groundwork of how we play the game. I think that, um, you know, the result, we were short. We came up short. But the result on how we played, um, there's a lot to be said for that. And right here in the front again, center. Uh, last three games, we saw a little bit of sloppiness out there. Uh, how disappointing is it to just kind of end the season on, on that note? Yeah, it, it's a little bit of a, a sour taste, you know. And, and um, you know, obviously, if, you know, we play a clean three games, you know, in, in four, five, six, there could have been a different outcome. And it, very uncharacteristic of, of our guys. And, you know, when you make plays and, you know, pitch counts change and the, hit, the next hitter that's coming up, the outs, the whole, everything changes. And so, yeah, when you look back these last three games, to not play our best baseball, there's a little sour taste. And, oh, and one more here. Oh, one more and then here and there. You mentioned earlier the fact that you guys had asked a lot from Clayton. Uh, how, do you think fatigue was a factor at all, I mean, given everything he did in the division series? Uh, I don't think so. You know, this is kind of ironically one of the few days that he did have extra rest. And, uh, you know, the psyche, the preparedness obviously is never in question. And it's just one of those nights that they, they took advantage of some mistakes. And over here to the left. Um, Ken Lee was a great pitcher entering this season. But in this past month, he seems to have really transcended. Can um, he blew through three innings like nothing. What can you say about him? Kenley, uh, you know, one of the players that, you know, I, I just really, as I'm proud of all the guys, but Kenley's growth and just really solidify him as, uh, you know, an elite closer in the game. There just should be no mistake now. And, you know, on the biggest stage to go out there and throw three innings and to be so unselfish and to be dominant uh, says a lot about his character and obviously his skill set. So, um, you know, without that anchor at the back end, you know, our season would have been dramatically different. And over here to the left again. Dave, I know you probably were hoping for more offense in the Washington series, but you found a way to get it done in five games. Um, this series, also, not a lot of hits to go around. Couldn't find a way to get it done in the end. Just the difference um, here these last few games. And it's just one of those things where the postseason, you're going to run into some great pitching you know, ones, twos, and threes, and um, the execution is, is a lot more, uh, there's a higher percentage of execution, and yeah, we didn't swing the bats great in the in the division series, but found a way to win games. Uh, and, and this series, those guys, you, you, uh, you know, you got to tip your hat, you know, they pitched well, and even that first game against Hendricks that we won, it was a one nothing game, so this kid went out there and threw the baseball really well against us, and their whole staff, they, they did a great job uh, you know, keeping us at bay. Okay, over here to the, the Cubs left. had the best record in baseball this year. Based on what you saw over the six games, is that an accurate reflection of who they are? Absolutely. Absolutely. They, uh, you know, up to this point, you know, to the World Series, they've, they've gone wire to wire. And, you know, they win 100-plus games. They, they have really no weaknesses. 
and uh, youth veterans starting pitching. They got the guy at the uh, at the back end, so uh, they they catch the baseball. Uh, they can slug. They get on base, and uh, they're relentless. You know, so um, they they played a uh, they took advantage of our mistakes. But you know, that's a very good club over there, and they outplayed us a series. And last one here in the center. And we've talked a lot about your team and just kind of how gutsy it was, uh, you know, kind of all year. Uh, in the end, though, against these guys, were they just the more talented team? You know what? I, I think that they beat us. You know, we made mistakes, and um, you know, I, I uh, you know, yeah, you, you hate to you know have sour grapes, but the better team won the series, and um, you know that's why you play seven game series, and um, you know they showed it.